Hey guys, on this episode of The Rundown, we'll be talking about the big expansion of maternity leave, we got a clip from SecNav about it, and we're answering questions that you're already asking. This past week, the SecNav tripled the amount of maternity leave to 18 weeks from a previous six, effective immediately. That's right. And MC1, you talked to SecNav about it a few weeks ago. Didn't he mention a plan to do this? Mm -hmm. And his logic behind that is basically to help sailors balance a family and their Navy careers. We're trying to make it a more family-friendly atmosphere in, in the service and allow you to not have to choose between family and service. So MC1, the Navy Down Mill story talks about maternity leave and convalescent leave. I'm a little confused on how the two work together. Well, it can be a little bit confusing. First, maternity leave is not an actual leave category per se. Hmm. It's a type of convalescent leave. And so whereas standard convalescent leave is granted by doctors and CEOs, think a few days to get over a minor surgery, maternity leave is a specific prescribed amount of convalescent leave following childbirth to both recover and bond with a new baby. Now it's 18 weeks and it doesn't have to be used consecutively, but it does have to be used within the first year after the child's born. Well, that answers that question, but here are some questions that we're getting from social media. Is there any guidance to when the official instruction is coming out? Well, in the all nav released by SecNav, there's quite a bit of info provided, but additional guidance will be forthcoming within the next 30 days. Hmm. Next, we have a question that a lot of people are asking. What about paternity leave? Are there any changes there? Well, paternity leave and adoption leave are not forms of convalescent leave. They're their own thing, which is an important distinction in the law because SecNav doesn't have the authority to change them by himself. However, Navy leaders intend to seek an expansion of those leaves as well, so more to follow on that. So those were some of your questions. If you have any more, be sure to email us at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. And I'm MC1 Elliot Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.